Guys, good morning. Uh, good morning. Uh, Salamu alaikum and Hajj Mubarak. Today, I would like to discuss to you my uh, my design or it's not my design. It's you can find it in the internet and most of the breeders are uh, already using this one, the seed blower or the hull separator. The function of this one. As I've said, it's a hull separator. The function of this one is to separate the seeds from the hull. This box can make at least 30% of your, of your waste feeds of your birds. By the way, guys, as I've said before, bird breeding is not a, it's not a cheap hobby. You know, bird breeding, your, your seeds, the, the bird seeds is more expensive than the kilo of your rice that you eat every day uh i will show you in later part the uh the cost of feeds so uh as i've said it can it can save 30 percent of your of your waste feeds because if you put if you put uh bird seeds in in the feeders Every time the birds will flew going to the feeder, sometimes it will blow it will blow the the feeds and way and put into waste. That's why there's a poop tray at the same time. You can uh, you can harvest the waste seeds and you can put it in the blower and refeed again. Uh, now I will show you the the figure the measurements uh, the functionality of a sketch may as i've said guys uh, many of the many of uh breeders already using this one Shukran. so guys these are the uh, bird seeds that are commonly found in my area in the philippines so these are some examples so first is the millet seed or commonly known in our area the dawa so white millet or the dawa the, i think the kilo if i'm not mistaken the kilo for this one is around 45 and this is five years ago uh then this is the component of your mixture of your of your bird seed huh? you can feed it directly you can feed directly to your birds but there's some uh, technicalities here because when your bird is growing there's another composition of seeds that you will feed into your birds when your birds is uh, have chick another composition of feeds that you feed them uh, when your uh, bird is having egg, another composition of feeds that you give to them. So, in my next tutorial, I will I will discuss this one. So the next uh, seeds is the the red the red millet. Next are the uh, the black millet. The black millet is expensive. Then the red one. The most cheapest one, the most common one is the, the dawa, the white millet. The black millet, the jockey oat, the groat oat, and the sunflower seeds. These are, these are just samples for, for, for seeds. Uh, I said, I, I've said, uh, as I've said, uh, the seeds are slightly expensive than the rice that you eat every day. I think the kilo for the sunflower seeds, if I'm not mistaken, the kilo is around 80. That 80 peso. That's a kilo. Uh, 
And that was five years ago from today. Imagine guys, you have a set of, set of, you have nine pairs. You have cages, uh, three run over three rice, total nine. That is 18 heads of bird, of African lovebirds, specifically African lovebirds. In one season, most likely we can produce uh, four to four to six uh, chicks per season. That is fifty-four. Uh, for for nine proven pairs, that is fifty-four heads already. Plus the nine pairs, the eighteen heads, it's equal to seventy-two. Seventy-two heads. Those 72 mouth to feed is not a joke to maybe you will spend se around 700, 700 or 800 for less than 10 days feeds, not including the soft food. The soft food is a mixture of, of vegetables and, and sprout, sprout seeds with egg like this <clears throat> not including your vitamins not including your what else your boosters so as i said breeding birds is not a cheap hobby it's more than it's more likely 98 percent hobby and two percent business so uh, uh, this is uh, this is just a sample of the of the the seeds that I want to discuss. Uh, a sample of the seeds for the seed blower. That is why we need a seed blower to to maximize the consumption of our seeds. Uh, guys, in addition to what I've discussed. Uh, of the uh, our our seeds do not overfed your birds especially the sunflower because the sunflower you, you the the bird will uh, get easily fat and when the hen will be fat she cannot uh, she cannot incubate her egg because she will become fat it's hard for her to 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 incubate no no because the bird will get fat the visceral fats of your bird will will, will be more visceral fats then it's very hard for her to incubate her egg so that's why we control the amount of the feeds according to the requirements of of the bird uh, meaning if if if, if the, your bird is growing bird if your bird is uh, laying egg, if your bird have chicks, that's different requirement and that is different feeding techniques uh, for each uh, requirements. So that's it, Pansit. So guys, this is my uh, this is my sketch of a seed blower. Once again, this is not my original design. Many of this, many of this one is already been used. I see this used by Bird Whisperer Celia. Shout out uh, in her blog also, and many of the other breeders are using this one. This is a seed blower or a hull separator. In this sketch, I'm using the acrylic model so you, we can see what's the inside. Actually, we can use any materials of this box. We can use carton, we can use play, pl plyboard, uh, we can use aluminum sheets, anything that can, that can be formed into a box. Because this box the most important part of this one is the blower itself without the blower it will not function it will not be used this is the blower the fan ah the fan in this drawing 
I installed the fan inside, but I think it's better to install the fan outside because for for maintenance for purposes, for replacement purposes, it's very easy to I will I will show you the, the, the if we will so like that. See? It's very easy to clean, it's very easy to maintain. We can purchase this fan in our local uh, electronic shops. I will uh, put box the drawer. So this is our hull separator or seed blower. In the top portion of this uh, uh, guys by the way the size of this one it's a cpu cpu type the dimension of our seed blower actually you can make your own dimension but my drawing is around 40 40 centimeter by 40 centimeter by 20 yes 40 centimeter by 25 25 at the top portion there's an opening there's a funnel type opening this portion this is the part where you put your seeds uh waste seeds so the fun how it uh, how will it work the fun will blow inside and the heavy seeds the seeds that are not eaten yet uh will go here because that's heavy and the hull will separate in this area by the way uh, our box don't forget to put a mesh here because if you will close this one the the air will uh, blow back going up upward not here this is the exhaust part of our box so it will separate the hulls from the uneaten seeds see this is acrylic guys uh, as i've said uh, you can use any materials doing this one because acrylic acrylic sheets are very expensive you can you can use also glass uh you can go to your nearest aluminum aquarium uh, those shops that will make aquariums uh just redraw this this design and explain it to them so we can after maybe two to three times we do the process so we can ensure the cleanliness this guys even if we buy seeds from even new seeds because the seeds from our feed supplies have a uh, dust content before feeding it to our birds have have dust content and have some mites some have some mites and some have what's this another insects to avoid our nest box uh insects con insect contamination we, we we will clean our our seeds first before feeding it to our birds see now i will i will open the the drawer So here in 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 this in this uh drawer here will go the uh for use seeds because already the seed hull already separated and by the way guys do not throw your seed hulls because your seed hulls you can use it to to make a compost and reuse it to put in your plants so we are practicing uh zero waste management here here uh, i will open this second oh. so i will turn it slowly and of course guys if we use acrylic is expensive but if we use acrylic uh, we can see the the seeds uh, flowing down 
and we can see the the hull separation, the hull flowing inside compared to uh, uh, what's this? Uh, Plyboards. So uh, as I've said, it's better to put your your fan outside than inside for e easy maintenance, e easy cleaning, easy replacements. And also, you can put also here a, a cup or something that will close this part. It will serve as a close and open what's this uh, door or something like that to avoid dust entering inside when not in use of course this the, the fan also when you when you buy the fan from your local electronic shop it will be have uh, included also the the, the oh, what's this the adapter adapter for this fan i think this fan is uh, available also in the computer shops but if you have extra fun from your computer, you can use that one also. So, uh, this is my sketch for seed blower uh, hull separator. Thank <laughs> you.